Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another episode of Five Bookish Facts. Today, we are going to be doing Five Bookish Facts about the one and only Enid Blyton. This was requested by Bubbly Bookend, so thank you very much for the suggestion there. And of course, if you've got any ideas for future episodes that you would like to see, let me know in the comments, and I will see what we can do. Without further ado, let's just get straight into these five facts. So fact number one is that Enid Blyton is estimated to have written over 800 books in a period of about 40 odd years. She used to write 10,000 words per day. Her books have also sold over 600 million copies which makes her the best selling children's author in English of all time. So fact number two is that Blyton was definitely a pantser as opposed to a plotter. So when she wrote stories, she didn't have an outline of what she was going to write. She just sat down with a typewriter on her lap and just typed away. She said she just used to let her imagination run wild, which you can kind of tell. <laughs> Okay, fact number three is that despite being kind of an iconic children's author and being very well known, by all accounts, she wasn't very nice. So she cheated on her husband and then when they were going through her divorce, she tried to stop him from seeing their children and her daughter Imogen described Enid Blyton as arrogant, insecure and pretentious. But hey, her books are good. Fact number four is that Enid Blyton entered a poetry competition in 1911 and that's when she first got given some encouragement to keep writing some more. So her first poem to be published was called Have You. It was published in Nash's magazine in 1918, just after around the end of the First World War. Uh, her first published book was called Child Whispers. It was a book of poetry, came out in 1922. And at that point she was still working as a teacher and she was writing in her spare time. And fact number five is that Enid Blyton once admitted to her literary agent, Rosika Collin, that Georgina, the short-haired, freckled tomboy from Famous Five, was actually based upon herself. It's also worth noting that Georgina usually introduced herself as George, which is a male name, so whether that has some bearing upon her personality, who knows? So yeah. Short and sweet episode today, but there are five facts about Enid Blyton. It turns out that most of the facts about Enid Blyton are either really dull or poor portray her in quite a negative light. <laughs> for example, other things that I discovered during my research is that she's received a lot of criticism for not only not having much literary merit, I mean, apparently that was a big problem when she was first trying to get published. People were like, her stories have no literary merit. But also, obviously she's been accused of things like racism and stuff like that for having like little characters with blackface and stuff and, you know. And of course she has characters called things like Fanny and Dick whose names had to be changed for later releases, which is a shame. But I do, this is, this is one of the rare ones where it's Joe, Bessie and Fanny. Joe, Bessie and Fanny. Dick, Joe, Bessie and Fanny. Joe, Bessie and Fanny. Yay! All of the Fanny. I have the Fanny collection, but just the one dick. So anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've got suggestions for a future episode of Five Bookish Facts. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.